Hello, let's and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. And uh, we got a little bit of an upgrade to do. I think this is gonna be fun. That is very filthy. However, I do not enjoy that. You should take lessons in taking better care of your PC. That way it will stay alive a little longer. This is just pure misabuse. Alright, well, let's start off with just cleaning this whole thing out. And now I'm gonna see what I did to upgrade it. I know I bought a few things, as per usual. Alright, let's remove the front panel on that. Uh, let's remove the side panel too. Just give me easy access to see what's going on. All right, so, uh, Tenton. Dirty, we got you a cooler, an AD M.2, and a Ryzen 7 2700X. Good, very good. Most excellent. Right, well, I will have to remove your graphics card in order to install that brand new SSD that we got for you. I really hope it fit though. Oh yeah, it does. Awesome source. <laughs> it's awesome. Love it. All right, and your graphics card, you'll get that one back. I don't want it. A uh, little bit of thermal goop on... <laughs> thermal goop. Yeah, you can always spray it too, making sure it's all clean before we put the goop on there. I don't want to have any dust particles in the goop. I will dry it out. Uh, nah, but re really. Uh, is there anything else that I'm forgetting? Yeah, so that is those two. Then it's just the NCXT X53. And that is this one. A lovely piece. A very lovely piece. And... I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it to the fullest. Um, uh, nothing about cables. I'm just gonna double check that one, cause it's... Sometimes I forget to write it up and... Um, then I'll beat myself up about it. Cause I feel like I was stupid. Okay. Cool the CPU with an AIO, PC lives on the floor, you feel for heaven. <laughs> uh, you want all new parts. Yeah, nothing about cables. Nothing about them. Alright. Uh, looks like you're using pretty much a black cables. I guess we could throw a little bit of red in there to uh, spice things up a little bit. Or I could just go with the sleeve, the plastic, plain black. Although I kind of want to get a little bit of red in there. It's mostly red and black, so I feel like it would look pretty good. Alright, there we go. And the AIO. Oh, I had it there for a second. And 
there we go very very nice indeed wow we really kept the budget down on this one wait um looks like i actually forgot to replace your uh, cpu i beg your pardon that was not my intention Although I know that your PC was already good enough to do what you wanted it to do, but still. Giving you a little bit of an upgrade ain't anything bad. Sure. Uh, we didn't use the full budget though we could probably have done a whole lot more out of this but still yeah 300 bucks we could have done a whole lot more but i for one feel that this is more than good enough so let's put the mesh bag and then the front panel. Lovely. And the side panels. Making sure it looks real good. Not sure how I feel about the air intake at the front though. Seems very limited in this case. I kind of would have liked this front panel to be a mesh. So I feel like that would improve the airflow. That's just my uh, speculations. I guess that's the word for it. Anyways, let's get this started. In here, yeah. And let's overclock it a little bit. Uh, let's start getting it to 4.4 gigahertz. And we're going to boot off that new M.2. This is going to be real lovely. I'm quite sure of it. All right. So, system information. 3D mark. Lighting. And GPU tuner. And USA CT. And let's reboot. Heck yeah. Man, we're almost up to level 20. Stuff is looking good. Okay. Let's see, how hot do you get when you push your buttons? <laughs> uh, about 82. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. So I'm going to increase you by like um, 50 more. I feel like that's a good trade. That would mean I went up 100 and I didn't even increase the voltage for there. Damn. That's good. It's real good. Alright, let's see. How hot do you get? Can I get you to be hotter? Okay, so we increased by like 7. So I want to see if I can at least increase it by like 25 more. Doesn't need to be huge. 
Just get the job done. Do the best that you can. All right. How are we looking here, boys? Oh, that's a voice crack if I ever heard one. Oh, holy dandy. We're doing great here. That's God's work right there. About 94 degrees Celsius. That is awesome. All right, let's see what we can get out of this graphics card there. Oh, flanking a boat. Uh, let's start at like 250. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. All right. Mm, how about 55? All right. I feel like we're getting pretty close here, so I'm just going to start going a bit smaller. Just making sure everything's fine and dandy. And it looks like 60 is our point. All right. That's at least T Force and 107. I like it. And you, my young friend, do not need to be involved in this. Boom. Red. Red all over the place. And we want to get a score on this. That's the whole point. In it. It's looking pretty bloody good. Well, I'm thinking we're gonna get somewhere between eight and nine thousand. What's your guess? Eh, 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 eh. Well, now, uh, that did not seem okay to me. Are you throttling? Yes. Yes, you are. Good thing I noticed that. You need to have a keen eye on that. If the FPS is very low and you know you have some really good parts in there, something is wrong and you need to fix it. In this case, just rolling back like 25 megahertz and we'll be fine and dandy. Am I right? This is me double checking, making sure it's good, okay? Gotta make sure it's as good as it can be. And it looks to be just fine. Alright, let's uh, try our hands at that again. And now we can see we're getting... Well, about 25 FPS. And before it was like 6. So, quite the improvement. Quite the improvement indeed. Alright, what else kind of fun can we get into? We're done here, yeah. And there wasn't anything good, right? Not really, I don't feel like I need a 550 watt power supply. Both are more or less the ones I'm gonna replace. I would more or less like to have like the um, 750 and up. Because those are good for more or less anything, including some dual GPUs. Alright, well, I gotta say it's looking pretty darn good in there. Alright, and then we have uh, this build left. Alright, let's see. When it comes to motherboard, do I actually have any...
Yeah, I got an E ATX and a broken one. And I'm kind of sure that that case ain't gonna do it. Well, I actually thought we would get more than that. So this is actually below 8,000 and I thought we would be above it. Uh, okay. Still good. Um, yeah. A little disappointed. I told. Uh, let's, uh, collect our money. There you go, my PC to 7003 in the 3D mark, and I'm really happy. As you should be, mate. Quite a freaking good PC you got there. I like it. Alright, uh, well, with that, I think I'm going to end off this episode. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.